Salute. 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 Wow. Blessings. What's happening, man? Nocturnal Thoughts. Real quick video, then I'm going to get out the way. I'm just going to say this, and I'm not going to make this video long. A wise woman told me a long time ago, she was talking about some political stuff, but she was saying, <laughs> If you can't dazzle them with brilliance, then baffle them with bullshit. That's what politicians do. That's what con artists do. That's what, you know, people that got a uh, 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 gift of gab do. You know, I'm feeling like when I watch YouTube, anything in regards to Errol Spence losing to Terrence Bud Crawford, I'm seeing, the, I'm seeing a lot of people focus on the wrong things kind of focusing on the bullshit. I hear a bunch of snack program this and Terrence Bud Crawford cheated that. And it's like you baffling people with bullshit. And I think that's the wrong, that's the wrong information to put out. Because we know Errol Spence is listening and he absorbed this stuff and he take it into the training and he take it into the ring. Because listening to him going into this fight, he was saying some of the same stuff that fans say. That Terrence Bud Crawford ain't fought nobody special. That Sean Porter was halfway training and was retired. And Kell Brook was damaged goods with two broken eye sockets. That Aguitas Kavalaskas wasn't good. That David Abenezia wasn't good. So on and so forth. The same stuff we've been saying for years. And I felt like it was cool for fans to think a certain way. Because we spectating from the sidelines and analyzing from a different perspective. But when you start hearing Derek James and Errol Spence talk the same way fans talking, it was sort of a red flag. I waited to the last minute, day late, dollar short. But I said, Errol Spence got to have a gladiator mentality. He got to psych himself out and reverse psychology. Damn near to think total opposite and think that the Sean Porter that trained for Terrence Bud Crawford was even more deadly than the Sean Porter that trained for him. He got to think that the Kell Brook that was in the ring with Terrence Bud Crawford was even more deadly than the version of the Kell Brook that was in the ring with him. He got to think that all the opposition that Terrence Bud Crawford has faced was better than all his opposition and himself, and therefore he's going to train accordingly, smarter and harder. And Darryl, Derek James should have been 100% focused the same way and not underestimating Bo Mack. Not underestimating Terrence Bud Crawford and not looking at it from a fan's perspective as far as his resume. But if the fans keep putting that out there, we got to take some responsibility and accountability for Errol Spence having that bad performance and that bad night getting um, embarrassed. We all got embarrassed. And I feel like we got to learn from our mistakes as well. So what I'm saying is, if the main focus that we're going to be talking about as Errol Spence fans, if all we're going to be talking about as the only reason why Ter the only reason why Errol Spence won was because snack program this, Terrence Bud Crawford was on the snack. That's the only reason why uh, Errol Spence won or lost. The only reason why Errol Spence lost was because he was weight drained. So now all he's focusing on is the weight. Coming in at 154, if he's just focusing on two, on those two things, the only reason why I lost, the two reasons why I lost, if Derrick James and Errol Spence is thinking the same way, or if they hear it and keep hearing what we keep saying, and they hear it, and all we keep saying and all they keep hearing is the only reason why Terrence Bud Crawford won was because he was on the snack, and the only reason why Terrence Bud Crawford won is because we was weight drained. If that start to seep into their minds and they start thinking like fans, they're going to come in there and they're going to have another bad night. It's going to be even worse. They should be thinking like gladiators. Derrick James and Errol Spence and the fans should be changing our mindset and be thinking, what does Errol Spence need to do? What flaws were exposed in other fights? And especially in this fight, what flaws do he need to correct? And every video that we should be making should be focused on what developments, what improvements do Errol Spence need to make to have a better shot at having a better performance or being victorious in a rematch. 
For example, Errol Spence lunging in, giving up his height, putting all his weight on his front foot with the inability to recover and get back on defense where Terrence Bud Crawford could either A, shoot those sh short, compact, power shot jabs and counters flush on him, or B, just hold out his dominant hand and hold Errol Spence's head down and hold his body down and then counter. That's one thing that Errol Spence should not be doing. He should not be giving up his height. He, he wasn't the bigger man, but he was definitely the taller man. Yeah, Terrence Bud Crawford had the longer reach by a couple of inches. He showed a speed advantage. What do you do when your opponent has a speed advantage and is timing you and punching you in between your punches? Errol Spence needs to work on his feints. He needs to sell his feints and have way more... Um, believable feints where he don't have to telegraph his double jab and triple jab followed by a loop and punch where's he where's his he should be doing a little feint just to get you thinking Errol Spence used to do clever things where he would throw this punch hold you out with this hand and then throw a stab to the body he wasn't always just lunging in giving up all of his all of this access to where he totally throwing his body right on the line and giving up no defense, no shield, just to get one shot to the to the body. He didn't always used to do that. And when he did do that, he had way better speed, timing, and reflexes to stab you and get back on defense. He needs to improve on not giving up his height. He needs to improve on working on his feints. That's something that he needs to be drilling. He needs to be watching the fight and seeing every weakness that was exploited and then eliminate that weakness from his game for one example and i will continue to make other videos from what i see he needs to improve on for self-improvement to have a better better performance not just focusing on i need to come in at a better weight or the only reason why i lost was because terrence bud crawford cheat he had to cheat me to beat me. And it sounds ridiculous when you say Errol Spence got beat so bad that Terrence Bud Crawford had to be on some juice. When I haven't heard Errol Spence come out with one excuse, the better man won. He just got beat. And it's Derrick James' fault, it's his fault, and it's our fault. So if you were Errol Spence fan and you want to stay on talking about snack, that's cool. Do what makes, you know, you happy. But I feel like if you want Errol Spence to have a shot at being victorious in this rematch against Terrence Bud Crawford, the only thing he needs to be doing is focusing on being a totally different version of himself than what he was in the ring against Bud the first time. And that's going to take work mentally, physically. And he won't be able to 100% focus on those two things if he's distracted by bullshit. Because like I said, a woman told me years ago, when you got these people that's trying to tongue hustle you, they got the wooden tongues trying to spin copper. They got the copper tongue trying to spin silver. They got the silver tongue trying to spin gold. They got the gold tongue trying to spin platinum. They got the platinum tongue and they just trying to spin it into a bunch of money for their bank accounts. They be hustling people and they usually, if they can't dazzle you with brilliance, they baffle you with bullshit. And right now, Errol Spence needs to come with that real shit. Real boxing talk on what he needs to do to be a better boxer, fighter, brawler, all the way around, improve 
Warrior and Gladiator in a rematch against Terrence Bud Crawford. Those are my thoughts, nocturnal thoughts. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Salute, salute, salute. Bow. Blessings.